Hey everybody, I'm Chris and today I'm going to show you how to get a Rottweiler Performance Power Plate in your Nord 901 or KTM 790 or 890 Adventure because we all know how well the stock airboxes work. Eh. First, let's go over the tools you're going to need for the job. Pretty simple. It's a T30 Torx, number two Phillips, three millimeter Allen, and you're going to need a key. Any KTM or Husky dealership is going to have one of these. They're usually between ten dollars and $23,000. Now let's look at the scope of the parts. We have our power plate frames here. We have our three different density of foam filters. And then we have our hardware. So we have a couple of studs here. We have thumb screws. We have some plastic screws and spacers. And these are extra thumb screws, just in case you lose those two. All right, first pull off the seats and side pods. Next, we're gonna remove the airbox lid. Then remove the stock filter. Now remove the seat bracket. It's going to be four bolts, T30. Uh, remove all four from both sides, two on each side. and then just lay it over to the side. Now remove the snorkels and their gaskets. This is the rubber part right here you want to remove. Now install the supplied studs where the bolts came out of the stock lid and just tighten them down until they bottom out. Blue Loctite is welcome here. Now install the power plate frames over those studs that we just installed. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to use these as guides to, for our front mounts here right here. So the reason these holes right here are large is to allow you enough play to get things situated. And then the thumb screws have shoulders on them that locate those holes and get everything centered exactly where they need to be. So we're going to start winding these on now and then drive them down until they center in the holes. And once they're centered, you can tighten them down. Once you're confident that everything is seated properly and everything is tightened down, we're going to use this as a guide to drive in our front mount. So essentially you're going to get these little black spacers and these wood screws in the kit. There's four of each. And just put them into the slot until they bottom out in this direction. And then wind the plastic screws into the stock airbox. You can pre-drill this if you want, um, or you can just drive them down straight down with a little bit of pressure. They'll pierce the plastic and then you can tighten them down. Don't over tighten them, just lightly is fine. Repeat the steps for the next three. Once you have all the forward mounts in, you can start removing the frames and put your stock air filter back in. Now let's go over the types of filters that come included in this kit. We have a 40 cell, a 60 cell, and a 4065. 
The 4065 is really your go-to for heavy off-roading, large groups, trailing people in the dust. That's going to be your choice right there. The 60 cell is a good choice for solo off-road missions, uh, pretty much off-road, but not trailing large groups, that sort of thing. And then our 40 cell is great for street use in some light off-road, not trailing people. So these are what come in the kit. And at this point, you're going to get your favorite air filter oil. Uh, this is Maxima FFT right here. We like that a lot. But whatever your favorite air filter oil is, now you're going to oil this just like you would a dirt bike, and we're going to reinstall the kit. Now reinstall the seat bracket. All right, now we're at the final stages of this install. The first thing I'm gonna tell you is that these air filters are not symmetrical. They are actually side specific. And the indicator is going to be this little point right here that's not on this side is on the left-hand side of the bike. And that's because the stock air box is not symmetrical. Now I haven't oiled this one so my fingers don't get greasy in the video, but normally this would be oiled with your favorite filter oil. So when you're ready to install, uh, the next thing I'm gonna tell you is that these tabs right here are designed to where once you get them through the frame, you have something to pull on and get it in place. And so you'll find those really handy. So the first thing you're going to do is put the filter in like this, and you're gonna get the studs through the two small holes in the filters. These two holes right here are designed so that these plastic bumpers on the power plate frames can hold the stock air filter down and keep it from coming out. So this is a very handy thing that we've designed into the power plate frame itself. So when you're ready to install it, it's gonna go in like this. And the reason these are two pieces and the reason these keys are here is because you can't make this part one piece. It won't fit down in the frame. So they have to go in basically in this direction and then that direction and then fit together. And these two keys right here help it fit together. So once you put it in, you're gonna work the plastic bumper through the larger hole. And then you're going to compress the foam and get the power plate underneath these tabs here, these bolts, and scoot it forward and then press it down and line up the center of this hole around that stud. Once that's done, you can start by putting the thumb screws in and getting them located on the shoulders and then lightly tighten that one down. Then we're gonna work on the left-hand side, same process, work the bumper through the hole, compress it underneath the front keepers, line it up. The two keys should click together and that should locate the hole right there. Once you've got all this together, you can tighten the thumb screws and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Okay, everybody, that's it for this install. It really wasn't that hard, was it? We got it in pretty quick and now you can take the satisfaction in knowing that your engine is well protected against the elements because we all know the stock air boxes don't do a very good job at that. Whoever designed this, if you're watching, if you wouldn't mind putting your address in the comments below, I would love to send you a care package just to say thank you. Uh, but for the rest of you that get stuck at the back of the pack and stuck in all the dust because you tick somebody off and they want you back there, get a power plate and uh, you know your engine's going to be safe and sound. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. We do respond to all of those. And uh, I came out of my day off, so at least subscribe and like the thing. It's just a couple of buttons. You got a mouse in your hand right now. Just, just move the mouse. Just move it over there and go click, click. And we love you for it. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.